Hey guys, Hayden from Connect here. Thanks for tuning in. So this is going to be a three-part video. And what I want to talk about is how to how to allow Power BI to automatically refresh Excel files. This demonstration will also include CSVs, so you can see how that works. Now, lots of challenges, lots of data is always presented to customers to, to the business in in Excel file. One of the huge issues that we have with that is that you can always import that from your Power BI desktop. But if you want to publish your reports online, the Power BI service online can't access your C drive. So there are tools, there are collaboration tools that Microsoft have. If you're if you've got Microsoft 365, this the, the, they provide that for you. So in this example, I'm going to be showing you how to use SharePoint. Now with SharePoint, uh, you could also use OneDrive, your OneDrive, and, and, and allow Power BI to connect to your OneDrive. So what I have, if I choose get data, so I've got my files already stored here in my OneDrive, my supply chain data. <clears throat> I've got shipments and I've got my orders and just some location data. So I've got a mix of CSVs and Excel files here. So <clears throat> what I want to do is once I've got data, select a SharePoint folder. And that will ask me for the destination. Now, when it says SharePoint folder, it doesn't mean the actual folder that it's stored in. So the, the full link here. You just copy up to the name of the site. So this is my SharePoint site and Power BI tutorials. So I'm going to copy that with Control C and Control V, paste that. Click OK. Now it's going to ask me how I want to connect. So you you need a Microsoft account, you need a Microsoft 365 account for this. And it'll ask you to sign into SharePoint. Okay, so hit sign in, select your Microsoft 365 account, and hit connect. So that will go into that site and find a complete directory list of all of the files. So as you can see, it's not pulled in the data itself yet, but it's pulled in the files. So I'm going to transform that data. So this will take me into Power Query. Now, as a, I'm only going to process the shipping data here. What I want to do across here, if I expand that column by double clicking, it's just the shipments that I'm interested in. However, I want to import all of this data at some stage. So here's a little trick. So I'm going to call this my master share point. And this data in this format is effectively useless to me. I don't want this to load into my data model, so I'm going to remove that. All I'm going to do to be able to use this and refer back to this again and again, say you're having to rewrite that process or go through that process of connecting to SharePoint, I'm going to select Reference. And what that has given me here is that same table. So what I want to do with this one is I want to select the shipments data. So you can either select in the drop down or right click text filters equals on that shipments data. There you go. And to, to turn those two into uh, the, the shipping data that I want, so I'll just rename it shipments. Back at the content section here, there's this, if you hover over that, it will, should come up and say combine. There you go, combine files. I've just selected that. What it will do is it'll take the two files that it can see there. They're in the same data structure. It will condense them, um, sorry, combine them into a single table. Click OK. And there we have our shipment table while that still loads. Whenever you do a combine in, uh, in Power BI, it automatically adds these parameters and functions Right. Don't touch those, just leave them there. They're needed to reprocess that data. So there I have shipments. That's all my shipment data. Uh, <clears throat> it automatically adds a source for the, the file name where it's combining. So I've got the two files there. I'm going to click OK. Now to do the Excel file, I'm going to reference that. And I just want my destination locations. So that file will never change name text filter equals so I'm going to call this destinations and again similar to the last one you hit the combine files option 
Fabii has nothing to combine here, <coughs> but it follows the same process. It takes its time. So it's going to go through the Excel file. I want to choose the destinations table that is in that Excel file. Click OK. Any second there. There we go. So it's still put this transform file. Just, just leave those alone. And there's my destinations. So I'm going to close and apply this. Um, as you can see here, this master SharePoint have removed the enable load. What that means is that once I've applied this information, it won't appear here. And it's only loading shipments and destinations into the data model. Okay, so <clears throat> that's it for this video. The next video we're going to show we're going to publish this to the Power BI service and we're going to schedule a refresh. So anytime anybody changes that file, the Power BI service will automatically pick that up. So please stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, please hit like, please hit subscribe, help a brother out and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.